These are some Dinar Guru updates from Mountain Goat, Jeff, Bruce, Caperoni, and RV already. Okay, Mountain Goat article quote, Iraq adopted the white paper October 2020 for economic reform. Two of the pillars of the reform out of the white papers include, number one, reviewing the current exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar. Number two, establishing new trade markets such as commodity market and a currency exchange market forex. So now there is no more guessing game as what is in these white papers that we are mostly concerned about. Their intentions are spelled out. All I can say is, wow, here it is in black and white for us to read. Okay, Jeff, I want to bring some common sense into this. Iraq is going to be and will continue to push forward on their borrowing law. That is the last thing we're waiting for. They're set to do second reading next Monday or next week. After they do the, sec the third reading, which will be Saturday, November 21st, they can change the rate at any point in time. Okay, Bruce says, we did hear that Iraq, and we heard this from Iraqi citizens, that they're going to pay their citizens that are legitimate, legal citizens of Iraq on Saturday, November 7th, on their cue cards, and they should pay them a new rate. Whatever that rate is, we don't know what it is yet. We know they had a new in-country rate. We know they had an international rate. And let's see if they update and increase that. We may find that out. We may not. So let's keep an eye on things. Okay, Jeff says, I know a lot of you guys keep on shooting your opinions out in the background, saying, oh, if Biden gets us, this is never going to happen. Bull crap. Iraq is not stopping. Iraq is continuing to push forward. The U.S. elections will have no impact on this at all. In Iraq, life is moving forward as normal regardless of the election. Stay focused on Iraq. Don't focus on political mess. Okay, Caperoni says Iraq is in financial crisis. And about to go broke, there is no RV. A country's exchange rate is based on the growth and economic success of the economy and monetary policy is a tool to counter inflationary pressure as a result of that growth. It's not some random act just to give wealth to people. The whole idea of a revaluation, RV, is nonsense. Central banks don't work that way and it contradicts monetary policy. Remember, the central banks are in business to make money, not give it away. If Iraq had the intention to significantly overnight RV, it wouldn't have an excess of 40 trillion dinar in circulation outside the banking system in Iraq. That's just too much money. Okay, Jeff, uh, Iraq started off, they achieved stability. What did they do after they achieved stability? August through October, they went from the U.S. to Europe to put all these agreements in place to create the reforms. Once they got the reforms dialed in, the next step they went to is positioning the money. They're positioning the money right now. One of the steps for positioning the money is the rate change. The rate has to change before the reforms can be implemented. But that's why they're positioning the money right now. Again, one of those steps is the rate change. Okay, RV already. I think it's more likely that if there was agreement on Article 140, there would be an RV. The problem is that you can't verify anything. RV already said yes on October 10, 2020. The U.S. Embassy congratulated Iraq on implement, implementing Article 140.